Yo, 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 to be a wet that boy breaking in one more time with y'all, man. I'm gonna do a short video, no more than six minutes, man. I hear nobody really talking about six. Uh, you know, I've been sliding through the YouTube. I don't know, I've been through heavy like I usually be, but I gotta definitely scroll through a little bit more. But I truly believe that I did scroll a little bit, and I haven't seen any updates on six nine over there in Dominican Republic, man. He got six nine locked up. I don't know why they ain't let him out on bond. I don't know what's going on, but I know he got locked up for some type of so called assault. You know, they jumped on a producer or something like that who was in the studio with his girlfriend. Now, two things about this situation. I fuck with 6ix9ine, you know what I'm saying? I don't care, he snitch, he ain't snitch on me. I got nothing to do with that. I find that what he did was kind of different. You can't really blame the kid. And, man, he's not from the street like that. He ain't on that. He was feeding them niggas. Them niggas crossed him, fucked his baby mama, put him in the trunk, drove him around the city. What would you do? You know what I'm saying? If you was a square nigga. You see what I'm saying? You got to look at both sides of the game, dog. If I'm a square, if I was a square... Hey, man, I'm going to the law, too. You know what I'm saying? I had these fuck niggas, you know, taking my money, fucking my baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Putting a nigga on the deli, I mean, mental health issues. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm paying these niggas. I'm giving them money. I bought them cars. I got them in careers. Nigga, you fucking my girl. You talking to me in any type of way. You come in and kidnap me. Put me in the trunk, nigga. I'm a square, nigga. I got to go in here and do it this way. I'm a square. I don't know no other way. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to look at it both ways, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know what a square is, so I can relate to that he you know he pretty much a swear but he a good he a good kid you know what i'm saying this is the only rapper i know go out and give cash out they black white spanish and whatever you know what i'm saying he doesn't get the credit for what he do so you know what i'm saying one thing about the, the, the people across you know those countries across across the water they, they different from us they believe in standing in a circle and right now they having a little uh a protest about six nine over there and they, you know what i'm saying you know a couple of, you know blobs over here just dropped they're like oh yeah yeah they treating them like the uh, like treating him like, you know, like, like, like the Michael Jackson of, uh, uh like, treating 6 9 like Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying, in the Dominican Republic as we speak. Of course they're going to do that, bro. The man went over there and gave kids and gave people money, bro. Helped them buy houses, build houses. He did a lot over there. He was doing a lot for Cuba. These type of people is going to fight for him. The man's a very good market, marketing kid. He know what he's doing. He know what he's doing. He's going to get hella paid from all this publicity and what's really going on, what's taking place. You know, and sometimes he, he a little wild. He do little things. I think sometimes he, he don't really understand what he be doing. Or he, or he, or he don't really understand the power that he have. This young nigga, this man I exposed the Illuminati. He done told about how um the industry ain't what you think it is and a lot of shit, bro. That's why the industry really done blackball him. See, a lot of people don't know what's going on. That's why he trying to really, you know, vibe in these different areas and vibe in these in different countries, man. Because he been blackballed in the United States. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you the game. So they done blackball him. You understand what I'm saying? So basically what it is, man, he's looking for really love and all, maybe, you know, for different areas, different places. Because, you know what I'm saying, he know what time it is. He done been through that situation. You see what I'm saying? He done been through that situation. You know what I'm saying? And he really fucked up in the mind what them niggas did to him. Because I'm telling you, he, he was a square. You know what I'm saying? He in love with that girl over there in the Dominican Republic. So he doing a little crazy shit because he got money and power. See what I'm saying? So they want to try to make an example of him and make money off him as well. But the people is not having it. The people is coming to his rescue right now. They making all fucking all 6ix9ine free t-shirts. I mean, all free 6ix9ine t-shirts out there in Dominican Republic. Very good. Nice shirts, too. Very nice. Very nice. You know what I'm saying? So they doing their thing. They standing up for 6ix9ine, man. See what I'm saying? Because he done done a lot for the universe. The dirty, the, the, the money, I meant to say the money, which is kind of from the, yeah, he leaks and, you know. But he, you know what I'm saying, you know, he, he he making the money, honestly, through his screaming and people still love his movie, he got his fan base still, you know what I'm saying? So basically what he's doing now is building another, you know what I'm saying, another, another, uh, I would say another factor now because, you know what I'm saying, these people standing up for him, man, and it's going to go viral. They don't want to show it here, but the internet will show it internet will make it go viral and it's already viral and it's going around and we you know it's coming up on the feeds you know what i'm saying so i had to talk about it because i see no youtubers really talking about it but i'm more like a, you know what i'm saying a street poet man but in the in, in, in the knowledge on the knowledge tip in the street tip i could talk i ain't into that youtuber shit but i'm on youtube you know what i'm saying but i don't consider myself a youtuber you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm just speaking you know what i'm saying real um speaking the truth I'm a truth though.
You know what I'm saying? Label me as a truth, though. You feel what I'm saying? But like I'm saying at the end of the, but, but I'm saying at the end of the day, 6 ix 9 is getting a lot of support from the Dominican people, the Dominican Republic, and people are staying on the comments. This one rapper we know, he had the A he snitch, he did what he did, but at the same time, hey man, this man gave a lot of people, he feed to the homeless, he feed the poor, he do for the poor, he give back. He throw away that money like it's nothing, bro, to people. And I seen it, bro. I seen it. He been in Miami doing it. He, he done did it in New York, Philly. Every city he go to, Atlanta, the water boys. He looked out for the water boys. He ain't even chump them off like a lot of our black rappers. He, I think he gave them more 500 apiece. You know what I'm saying? 500 apiece, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, to be your boy Ocho, that boy checking in with y'all with this little video. I just wanted y'all to, you know what I'm saying, support that boy 6ix9ine. He a cool kid, a young man. He did what he did, bro. But at the end of the day, he a square, bro. He know no better. So, you know, that's how the game go, man. You know what I'm saying? That's but it go, how it go when you, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of kid. He a kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying he right, but, you know, I got to accept it because he a square. He ain't no street dude. He ain't. That's why he had to get for around them because they scared him because they were real street dudes. He was feeding them, but they turned their back on him because they wanted more and more. They seen what type of bread buddy was getting. They felt like they were little dogs, but nigga, you, the man, you was a big dog. Not in his status, but anybody else, you, oh, well, that boy be with 6'9, you good. Your face like Gator. But niggas ain't understand the power, ain't not control, they wanted more. So that what they got, time and, you know, 15 years of peace. Like, that's crazy, bro. Y'all niggas in y'all 30s, like, you know what I mean? Gotta think, but it is what it is, man. To be your boy Ocho, that boy checking in with this second video. It was more about, this was about 6 9 man, in, Domin in the Dominican Republic, getting support like he the goddamn Michael Jackson of the goddamn, you know what I'm saying, rap game. So I'll let your boy, y'all know what it is. Hit me up to be the boy you did. Salute. I'm out.